I found words lacking in some way. Like a word would not convey the same thing that a leap would. Shange, class of 70. Um, I'm an artist. I began to work with dancers and I and I danced myself and I found such exhilaration in the physicality of it that it I could take from a movement and go write a poem but the poem would be totally different than if I had just been sitting around my apartment and gone to the corner to write a poem. Writing a poem from the exhilaration of dance is an ex exquisite experience. I studied American art in the vernacular and it changed my life. It changed my entire perception of what the world is and what beauty is. I was sitting um, out, I was sitting across from Bill Bank and on the on a little rise there, and a, a little white girl came up to me and said, asked me was my piece ready, and I said what what piece are you talking about, and she said oh you know the one from the literary journal, and I said oh, and then she said well thank you so much Barbara. And I said, okay, I'll take care of this. Barbara must have her piece in already, and they don't know it. And they don't know who I am, so I'll just go home and write something and give it to them and put my name on it and see what happens. So I went home and wrote a poem about Jimi Hendrix and basketball players. For some reason, there were two poems. And I gave, I turned it in. And sure enough, they printed both Barbara and me. Our life was so full. There was the Andy War movement and the and the Black Power movement, and there were all these things going on around us. And any any kind of creative energy that we could contribute to any of those causes was what we did. What I did. And so eventually it became clear that my biggest strength was writing because I couldn't paint very well at the time. So I couldn't do the banners and the fires. But I started to write poems in support of the causes that I believed in. I think it's amazing and wonderful that my work is being taught at Barnard because First of all, it never occurred to me that that would happen. And, and secondly, I enjoyed my courses here so much that if my the course on me can give anybody as much joy as I had studying the French Revolution or vernacular art in America, then I'm so gratified and humbled.